yo, yo, yo If it's not one thing, it's another Oh brother, I can't ignore anything but my mother Telling me about the neighbor's gay lover But that's a story I'll have to save for another time Cause when I rhyme, bitches call the Ghostbusters The way I slime her all over their faces They say I'm a raceless, it's tasteless But it ain't true, I fuck with every bitch between their waists Ha ha, he he, my words are weapons So take heed to the lessons I keep you knee deep when you think you're second guessing I'm reppin' when I spit like your girl bless him I did write rhymes in the hospitals, you know that I'm sick Got text like Virginia, but you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I come for your wife, just let me get up in her Hey kids, it's the Rap Ninja, another fan mail request today Me and Pop are gonna talk about something that's recent and relevant to a lot of you people that live in North Carolina Not that I live there, you know because my Facebook and Twitter say I'm from Buffalo, New York. But if you happen to live in that area, North Carolina, an amendment was passed recently, and somebody actually asked, what do I think about it? And so uh, I'm here to talk about it. It's a hot topic. It's Amendment 1. What is Amendment 1? I'm not sure I really know. So before you click off <laughs> your web browser and dismiss this video, I'm going to tell you what I do know. The amendment that was passed and the controversy that surrounds it is the fact that it bans gay marriage in the state of North Carolina. But as far as I know, wasn't it already banned? It was already illegal, right? On the other hand, it actually gets rid of any benefits or any kind of ties that bind to those of us who may be in a civil union, some kind of, you know, just friends with benefits over the long term with anybody who needs any kind of benefits and we'll get to that a little bit later. But Pop and I and another special guest today who's making her first uh, YouTube debut, uh, Miss Aquacus. Say hi to Miss Aquacus. What up, bitches? Okay, well she doesn't want to be seen right now so all eyes will be on me like Pop. But in the meantime, we're all going to share some uh, important information. And feel free to... Uh, Respond with any kind of comments or any kind of side videos, you know, keep the hate low. We're going to be like John Cena today, you know, two of them you can't see, but you can see me. But at the same time, we want to rise above hate, right? All right? Okay, that's enough cliches for now. So, Amendment 1, we're going to let Pop start this off. Go ahead, Pop. So, Amendment 1, did you support it, or were you against it, or how do you feel about them taking away these rights for people in domestic partnerships and civil unions. Well, Amanda, how about you go ahead first and give your side and I'll give my side. I'd say it's a shame that that shit has passed. It's a shame. Why do you think it's a shame? Because everybody needs love and everyone needs to work together. Okay. Okay. Well, me, you know, I couldn't vote because I got a couple felonies, you know, couple samurai swords and some niggas faces <coughs> excuse me ninjas faces and um, I just couldn't do it but at the same time what I've been for it or against it you know I've never seen so much controversy over something like this it's it, it's two sides of the same coin you know one is heads and the other is heads and some guys won't be able to give each other head but at the end of the day you know it's supposed to redefine what marriage means to us as North Carolinians, you know. So while I'm not for or against gay marriage, you know, if you want to be gay, like I said in some other videos, go ahead and be gay, fine. You know, my whole motto is don't tread on me. I'm not against two guys wanting to hook up. More pussy for me, all right? But at the same time, I look out for those people who might not have been married but lived together for X amount of years and all of a sudden one of these partners dies or whatever and somebody's left without benefits somebody's left without health care and that's 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 really sad and I know it's pretty big for me you know you don't have to tell me you know hey the rap ninja actually trying to be serious for once well you know it's a, it's a hot subject and this this affects a lot of people some people are considering moving a lot of friendships lost uh, Maybe a whole lot won't change. I don't know, but uh, North Carolina is in the Deep South, Bible Belt State. Not many of you realize that, or you know, 
care or at the same time may have forgotten, but you know, we'll see what South Carolina does. But at the same time, as far as what I think, uh, you know, I just feel bad for those who don't have the freedom to live their life as they choose to the fullest. That's that's really all that uh, it affects me in that sense. You know, people say, oh, well, if you're not for it or you're against it, and if it, it, it has to mean something on a molecular level, no, I don't give a shit. I don't. But, like I just said, you should have the right to live your life as you choose. And if that means, you know, being with somebody, regardless of what sex they are, you should be able to do you. And, you know, that that's that's just it. Anything else, Pop? Uh, I don't agree with that at all, actually. People shouldn't be able to live their own lives. That's what the government is here for. That's how all good governments work. They come in, they say, hey, we need you to live this way. It just so happens in this case, our government says, hey, Two, two men, they can't get married. We don't want any shit stains on the marriage ring. Wow. Notice again, this is not the Rap Ninja. This is not reflective of Captain Sensation Productions or anybody else affiliated with me at this time. Uh, or, well, I don't know. But at the same time, yeah, don't come, you know, gay bashing me or whatever. Or Actually, I'm not gay, so that wouldn't be gay bashing. But don't come... Leaving Will and Grace DVDs on my doorstep. This is not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I I've used the F word. You know that F word bundle of sticks. Yeah, a couple of times in the past, and that's just how I grew up. N nothing against any of you guys, but uh, the government's supposed to tell us how we live. I don't know. What do you think about that, uh, Miss Lady? I think that. Um the government wants to control us and we need to step up and make our own decisions and you know I don't know I'm ready for like a change some kind of no. know, revolution it's not going to change <laughs> let's be realistic we for us who live in North Carolina we stepped up at the polls and we voted we said hey we don't want those kind of people you know getting married and it's unfortunate but it's how it is Everybody else who doesn't like it, you know, they can talk all they want, but realistically, for every one person out there who's talking, who's thinking that they're going to get heard or somebody's going to listen to them, there may be like 10 or 20 people who are real quiet. You've seen us before. We don't say nothing. We're real quiet about our views. We don't talk about our money. We're real old-fashioned. Go to church on Sundays. Hit up the club on Saturdays. You know, strip club the next day. Yeah. Right, pretty much. And we are the way we are. You can't tell us nothing. We'll listen. We'll not. We'll like, yeah, that sounds good. And they won't really agree or disagree with you. But when we come out to the polls and we want to do what we want to do, we're going to vote for what we want. Just so happens right now, we're conservative. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of interesting points, but. Getting back to what you were saying, how do you feel that the government is trying to control us? I mean, you know, we don't have, um, I mean, we're, we work for our money and they take it away from us. We, you know, we have to work to make money which they distribute to us. We can't work together to find a new way of handling it. I mean, it's all about the Benjamins baby and it shouldn't be. I mean there's other ways around it. No one's just willing to figure out another way. So you're proposing that we go back to the old bartering system? I mean... Caveman, yeah. oh you have fire. Me give you wife. You fuck wife. Build fire. Oh. I mean if you're unhappy with the situation I mean just you know Think about another alt. I'm not saying yes. We need to find a bartering go back from back in the day. That's a little bit. Then, then we're backtracking. You know what I mean? But there should be another solution. To the, I mean, it's disgusting that I have to work my ass off and only make like pennies, while this guy is not doing shit and making all this money. And you know, it's bullshit. Like what? What? does it take to, I mean, so what, you gotta shave your tits off before you can get paid? I mean, what the fuck is that? Tits or get the fuck out? Basically, what I think is going on is 
I think you have mistaken America for a different country. America is built on the notion of unfairness. That would, that's what makes us great. Other countries, socialist countries, where whatever you do and they pay you the similar rate. Whereas over here in America, some people just know how to get over on other people better. And it just so happens that they've gotten over enough to the point where they can basically do nothing and 